This is what I feel about basketball right now. Um, I think that it's going to be the year of the unpredictable. You can kind of predict a little bit what's going to happen on the East and the West, you know, in reference to the top one and two. I don't want to go on record and anybody kill me. <laughs> but I, I, the reason why I started by saying this, the, the league and where NBA is in general overall, it's, it's unpredictable because there's so much new talent emerging. And I feel like we're now getting back into the days to where you could identify a superstar you know, or a few superstars on every team, like, you know, whether it was Jordan, Pippen, and, you know, and then you had uh, my boy Carl Malone, and then you had over here Penny Hardaway and Grant Hill, and it was just so much action happening, and I feel like basketball is now coming back full circle to that, so that's what's exciting and unpredictable about it, because even last year, if you look at the, um, the finals, like when you watch Indiana, and nobody, Indiana was like, a, they were like a silent creeper, like they were giving Miami a little hard time, and so I say that to say that they're going to probably only get better. I know that Iguodalia just went over to Denver Nuggets, so you never know what's going to happen with them. It's just so many changes in Dwight going to, to, to the Lakers, and I feel like his game is going to elevate to a whole other level. I feel like him being around Kobe and Nash is going to really take him to like another place on, on his game. So it's kind of hard to say, but can I, if, I, if you ask me right now to date, hope no one um, looks at me like I'm crazy, on the West Coast, the top two is going to be the Lakers and OKC. On the East Coast, I don't know where, where um, Derrick Rose is going to be. Hopefully, he will get on his feet because he's just amazing, and he is a problem on the East Coast to me. So him not being fully, you know, 100% is what the problem is on the East. The what the one of the biggest challenges that are missing. But of course, Miami, they're going to be in the top again. Um, and number two, I don't know what's going to happen with Derrick Rose, but I would say number two if Derrick was around. So, But that's what I can give you in a nutshell of it all. But yeah, it should be fun. I love the game so much. It's, it's so inspiring and runs parallel to my music, and that's what I love about it in reference to the whole competitiveness and you know, drive and ambition. That's what I love about it. I just get a, get, get a good high out of it.